All right, what's up everybody? This is Taco Bill Kafer here with another deck tech for y'all. Today we're taking a look at a great tactician creates plans, which you may know as the Thrawn Objective. We're gonna dive right in here, right? So Thrawn Objective, what does it do? It's a, it's a big boy space deck, right? So you wanna get Thrawn out, you wanna get him on the Chimera or whatever ship. Uh, you wanna get him draining at Battlegrounds so opponent has to stack cards on uh, his art collection. Then you get to use those cards to do different bonuses. We got a couple of restrictions with the deck. We can't play Admiral Chirinu. Uh, he's generally at home in a, a big space deck like this, so that hurts a little bit. And then we also can't play Episode 1 or Episode 7 cards with ability or presence droids. So that, that kind of hurts our character selection a little bit. Uh, can't have, you know, P-59, can't have Kylo Ren type thing. But what we can have here, and what we start with, we start with the Lothal system. Uh, we start with the Advanced Projects Laboratory, which is a 1-1 and the Imperial Complex, which is a 2-0. Uh, we also start with that Thrawn's art collection, like I said. Uh, this specific deck, right, we're going to start with Prepared Defenses. We're going to start with... Um, do they have a Code Clearance? The Effect version from Coruscant. We're going to start with Endor Shield. And we're going to start with Alert My Star Destroyer V. So what are we doing? Like I said, we're trying to get Thrawn to a battleground. Uh, anytime he drains or wins a battle at a battleground, you're going to get to stack a card on those things. Uh, on the flip side of the objective here, right? Uh, once you get card stacked, you get, in addition to the bonuses you get from the actual card stack, you do have history, philosophy, and art to add to your total battle destiny. Um, you can use your leaders to do any of these tricks on the back side of the objective, and one thing to point out, every character in this deck is an Imperial Leader. So what you can do during your turn, during a battle with an Imperial Leader, you can remove a card that's stacked on the art collection to get a bonus. Uh, if that card has destiny zero to two, then you cancel opponent's immunity to do attrition. If that card has destiny three to four, then your opponent's gonna have to exclude a character from the battle, and that's their choice. You don't get to choose which character. You just say, hey, one of your guys can't play. And then if that card is a five or higher, you're gonna add three to your total power. And I will say a lot of people tend to try to stack fives or higher on your uh, on your card because that's the, the least offensive, um, in most people's opinions, bonus is that plus three. You also have a special case, if there's a weapon you stack on the uh, on Thrawn's Art Collection, you can get rid of that card to cancel a battle, so there's a little evasion if your opponent does give you a weapon. Alright, so let's take a look at the deck here. So the character package, like I said, everybody is an Imperial Leader, and we're doing that for two reasons. One of them is so you can take advantage of the objective, the other one is so you can use uh, Imperial Enforcement, so you can redraw any Imperial that you draw for Battle Destiny, so we want to keep all of our characters Imperials for that. Uh, most of the characters you see are ability 3 as well, and the reason for that is we want to take advantage of do they have a code clearance, so they get an extra 3 forfeit. So a lot of them end up being, you know, deploy 3, forfeit 8 type characters, which is pretty robust. Um, we've got our space package here, so we've got 4 Star Destroyers in this version. Obviously we've got Chimera, that's Thrawn's ship. Um, we've got Stalker, which is just a good all-around ship that you can pull with Death Squadron assignments. Uh, we've also got two other matchups. We've got the Avenger and Captain Nita, and we've got the Thunder Flare and Captain Kurgi. Those are two pretty good ships with two pretty good pilots, and you throw in the uh, the Imperial Code Clearance there just just as a cherry on top, so you can pull those those characters. Uh, in addition to that, we've also got some of these space tricks that can be really annoying for their for your opponent if they can't cancel any of them. So you've got I've Lost R2, which can knock out uh, a hyperdrive, so your opponent can't move away. You've got Lateral Damage, which, you know, tried and true, fantastic card, uh, makes a character ship, or makes an opponent ship uh, power and forfeit zero. You've got Lost in Space, so when you do forfeit, you know, your, your nine forfeit uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, you can rescue him and have him right back in the battle. We've got Gravity Shadow, so if your opponent tries to move away, we can try to stop him from doing that. And we've got Overwhelmed, so if you have double the power of your opponent at a system during your deploy phase, you can send all their ships used. It's pretty great. Uh, and then the last thing we have is the laser cannon battery. That deploys as a react, so sometimes you can surprise your opponent with it. Otherwise, you can use it to shoot you know, a token space package like a, a Leia's resistance transport, maybe a Tana 4 and something like no idea. Um, can shoot a couple things. All right, so what's our turn one? Turn one, we're gonna, before we activate, we're gonna pull Grand Admiral Thrawn with Endor Shield. We'll probably end up pulling either Ozzel or Mahdi. Uh, depends if you get one in hand, if you get a, a Death Squadron assignment, you can pull Ozzel, and maybe you use the Endor Shield to pull Mahdi. Um, we're going to activate our 7 Force, usually. 
right? So you get two from the uh, system, two from the complex, uh, one from one from the laboratory, and if your opponent gives you one, that gives you seven. Um, we're going to use the objective to pull a system. Usually, I want to get Kessel because that that means we can show Thrawn with alert my Star Destroyer for the Chimera to get him out turn one to a system and ready to drain on turn two um, for that quick stacking. So if you're left alone, what are we going to do? We're going to try to get Kashik out. Kashik will let you drain for two. In addition, you get that one ping. Um, we're going to try to get our 2-2 out with a, a walker there or just you know a pile of forfeit there. Uh, drain for two there. We can get extra damage from that with the um, Admiral's Order. We're in attack position now if we've got commanders or generals there. And we do have a couple commanders or generals. And then you've got extra ping damage with Kurgi if he can find a light side character. If your opponent comes to try to stop you from doing what you're doing, right? You've got admirals and generals and you've got four Imperial commands, right? So you're able to limit them to one destiny and with your extra forfeit you're able to usually only lose one guy. Um, you've got Trample, you've got one Trample in here, so in case somebody small comes. Um, you've got that Laser Cannon Battery that we already talked about. You've got that extra clear or extra forfeit from Code Clearance, so that's going to give you uh, some bonuses there, right? Like I said, you know, you can get a, a 3, 9, right? Grand Moff Tarkin deploys 4, forfeit 9. Uh, Governor Price deploy 3, forfeit 8. Min Kainu deploy 3, forfeit 8. Um, and we're not even talking about Admiral Pelion, or excuse me, Captain Pelion who adds two to those uh, those forfeit values. Um, and if you throw somebody in those uh, walkers that we've got there, uh, they're going to be safe from weapons. Other cards you can think about playing, right? So we've got that Imperial Code Cylinder there. Maybe you can play a Krennic. He's also a commander for a, we, uh, attack position now, so extra damage for him. You can look at either Mara or Erica. Um, they give you a little more ground oomph. Same with Emperor Palpatine. Um, he's Destiny 6, right? Fantastic. Mean to attrition. Um, you can have him be part of your ground package there. And then Kira Kanos also is another ability 3, Imperial, uh, some good game text, some good power. You can talk about playing, you know, more walkers on the ground, so Blizzard 1 would be a good choice. That, that makes you immune to under attack. Uh, Blizzard Scout 1 would also be a good choice, so that's something you can use to cancel some text of some light side characters there. And then you could play something like Close Call, right? So if your opponent does draw high enough to break some immunity, you can either subtract that destiny or make them try to draw it again. Uh, this is the list that I've got. There are other lists available. So in the top four at Nationals, Connor Britton played a list. Uh, it was a little bit lighter on the space tricks and a bit heavier on the ground. He had four emperors in there to help, you know, shore up that ground. And then Cal Aldred on day one of Nationals also played a Thrawn version. Uh, that one was actually heavier on the space tricks than this, if you can believe that. So yeah, thanks for taking the time to check out this deck tech, and we'll bring you more soon.